Hello crafty friends and welcome to Stamping September. For the month of September all my videos are going to feature stamping in one form or another. In today's video I'm going to make a happy birthday card for you using some balloon stamps and a sentiment stamp but before we do that let's talk about stamping September. This month we're going to have videos every Tuesday, every Thursday, every Saturday and every Sunday. Saturday's videos are going to be long ones. They are going to look in quite a bit of depth at one topic to do with stamping. So some of the videos I'm going to share with you this month are one stamp set, 10 cards, 10 clean and simple cards for kids, 10 clean and simple cards for men, 10 ways to colour stamped images. We're going to do heat embossing, mixed media. We're going to use rubber stamps, silicone, photopolymer and DIY stamps. I've got loads of things for you. So hopefully you'll find something helpful and inspiring. If you want to share some of your card making projects this month, do come to my Facebook group, NB Cards and Crafty Friends. There is a link to it in the video description. Right, back to today's card. So I'm working on a stitched rectangle panel of smooth white cardstock and I've got a photopolymer balloon stamp and a photopolymer happy birthday scripty sentiment stamp and I'm using my T-square ruler to help me get them centred on my panel because I want to have a balloon in the middle and I want the string coming down from the balloon to turn into my sentiment, my happy birthday sentiment. I decided to use my stamp positioner today because I knew that I was probably going to need to stamp each stamp more than once and the stamp positioner just gives me that little bit of confidence and accuracy. I can stamp again and again and get my stamps in exactly the same position. So I dusted my panel with talcum powder to remove any static grease or moisture because I wanted to do some heat embossing. And then I stamped the happy birthday. I'm using Tuxedo Memento black ink because it's a nice black ink and it's easy to wipe off of photopolymer stamps. I then stamped both the balloon and the sentiment in sticky embossing ink so that I could heat emboss both at the same time. For the balloon, I drizzled over some gold embossing powder with a little scoop that I made out of a scrap piece of paper. And the sentiment, I did exactly the same thing, but with clear embossing powder. When I want black embossing, I use black ink and clear embossing powder because I have yet to find a black embossing powder that does as good a job as that. So once I put the embossing powder on the stamped images, I heated it with my heat tool to melt them. I did actually do the balloon twice to get a smoother finish. I just heated it with my heat tool and then dipped it back in the embossing powder and heated it again. Despite using talcum powder to treat my paper, there were a few stray flecks of embossing powder that were melted onto the card and I just gently scratched these away with a sharp craft knife. Then I connected my gold balloon to the sentiment using a black pen and then I used an embossing pen to draw over that and heat emboss that with clear embossing powder so the string of the balloon and the sentiment are all clear embossed. Next I put my card panel back into my stamp positioner and used the balloon stamp to stamp some translucent balloons behind my gold balloon. So I use Catherine Pooler dye inks because they're translucent. They layer nicely over each other. You can see through the top one to the one below. So you get a nice layering effect, which I think is good for balloons because quite often they are translucent to some degree. The two colours I used were Minted and Oh Boy, blue and green. Obviously you can use any colour you like. And I stamped a row of balloons as I say, so they appeared behind the gold one. I did get a little bit of ink on the gold, but that was absolutely fine because I just took a paper towel and wiped it off. I did find I needed to stamp each of the balloons twice to get a solid impression. With these inks, they do go a little bit lighter when they dry and they do smooth out, so any splotchiness does disappear and they look beautiful. I wanted to add some strings to my colourful balloons but I didn't want them to take away from the black sentiment string of the gold balloon. 
So I found some photopolymer balloon string stamps and stamped those in pebble Catherine Pooler ink, which is a grey. So they're definitely in the background and the happy birthday string stands out really well. I did a bit of masking because I didn't want all my strings to be the same length. So the ones on the left hand side, I shuffled upwards a bit over the balloons, but I put masking paper down so that they didn't stamp on the balloons themselves. If you'd like to know a little bit more about inks, ink pads, which ones to use for what kind of project, then I do have a whole series called Ink Pads 101, and I'll leave a link to that in the video description. So do check that out. I've also created a Stamping September playlist in which all of this month's videos will appear. So bookmark that if you want to keep your eye on it. That's linked in the video description too. So once I'd stamped all the strings, I used a bow stamp to stamp a bow on the knots of the balloons in pebble ink again. And I also used stays on to stamp a bow over the gold. The stays on black ink is great because it does stay on. It will stamp over things like gold embossing and stay on them permanently. So that worked well. So that's this card and this video finished, but it's just the start of Stamping September. So I really hope you will join me and that you'll pick up lots of hints, tips and ideas. As I said earlier, do come to my Facebook group. It'd be lovely to see what you make this month and if you've got stamping ideas, tips, hints, hacks, suggestions, then do leave them in any of the comments on the videos that I published this month so that we can all read them and learn from them. Right, thanks for watching. I will see you very soon. Bye for now.